A few months ago, I had a discussion with Dr. Worthington about the STEM program in the school system. Uh, Dr. Worthington thought it would be a good idea to bring the STEM Academy students in the ninth and 10th grade out to a farm so we could see science and technology and maybe they could relate a little better to the classroom when they saw it in work. So we're out here on the Phil Baggett farm where the newest technology in beef cattle production is. What we're doing is we're exposing our students and our teachers to the way STEM is involved in agriculture. This is their classroom today. And, and so what they're learning is, is ways that the content that they're learning and the, the information that they're learning, they can translate it into a relevant situation. Uh, they're also looking at ways that they can look at future careers for them because agriculture and, and what's taking place across this globe is extremely important and STEM is, is involved in every part of this. Well, this is one uh, area of career uh, education that's not going to go away. We're going to have a uh, need scientists, engineers who are well versed in agriculture and understand the importance of, of it. In the animal science world, and we're going to look at a lot of that today, we're using DNA technology to uh, increase uh, feed efficiency, to uh, have a more tender product. It shows them how technology is involved in the, in the agricultural world and uh, it, it has grown. I mean, I grew up on a farm and, and just learning about this and seeing the the growth and the improvements that have taken place across this globe to be more efficient, more effective in their planning and their, their breeding practices. Uh, they're getting, they're, they're becoming more efficient and more effective farmers. We have been working for years to get to get our grass-fed beef operation started. Uh, many of the practices that we uh, that we use here are uh, are best best practices indeed. And uh, it, it, to be able to demonstrate that to the kids and see uh, see the uh, the look of uh, I get it. Uh, and wonder in their eyes is really uh, is really very gratifying. Agriculture is big business and it's big science now and it's, it's a great opportunity not only for our, our students but all of our teachers to come out here and learn. Compared to the classroom the, this is a lot better because you can actually see what's going on and it's more hands-on and visual so it's a lot easier to understand what they're trying to explain to you. We learned a whole bunch of stuff. They had a bunch of stations set up. Like one was about soil runoff, like how grass is, is much better than just having soil on the ground during a heavy rain. Other things we did, we went out to where they held the cattle and we watched them examine the cattle to see whether or not the cuts of beef that they would get from it would be good or not. Like choice or select or prime and it's just it's a pleasure to see and you have great students my I, I, the questions i've heard in the in the engagement uh, i've seen in each one of the presentations is uh, is, is really it's gratifying i mean it's, you can, I, I believe they are benefiting the teachers and the students are asking such great questions to to these experts but we couldn't do this without the partnership of uh, those in the agricultural business and also the agriculture extension service they're helping us a lot with this actually we wanted to uh, to go after a, a unique niche in the market those that are interested in, uh, in to, to, first of all grass-fed beef uh, with no hormones no antibiotics added um, but also we're interested in, in knowing their farmer locally we're right here in the Sango community and uh, we have many customers in Montgomery County that come out and pick up uh, pick up beef here at the uh, at the farm. I think the opportunities are endless for this. Uh, our, our plan is for this summer that they would come back, the STEM students would come back and spend three days here. Uh, that our teachers also have that opportunity to have staff development days here this summer, where they can learn, go even deeper into these concepts that they're learning today. If we're going to feed the world, we're going to have to have bright minds. I think it's important that young people learn the technology that we're going to have to use. And we're going to look at the very cutting edge technology that we have in ag.